public transport is just one of the critical infrastructure systems in the United States targeted by China, FBI Director Christopher Wray told lawmakers Wednesday. China's hackers are positioning on American infrastructure in preparation to wreak havoc and cause real-world harm to American citizens and communities if and when China decides the time has come to strike. China has previously rejected U.S. hacking allegations as baseless. Ray's warning comes as other officials tell U.S. outreach to China, pointing to new cooperation on counter-narcotics as evidence of reduced tensions. The two sides have also started discussion on artificial intelligence and resumed contact between their militaries. We agree that President Biden and President Xi should speak uh, and should speak by telephone relatively soon. Um, and uh, I think the acknowledgement coming out of Woodside that there really is no substitute for leader to leader conversation. A key issue is the U.S. presidential election in November, where Washington is wary of even the appearance of interference from adversaries. The Chinese will, are likely to be pretty cautious about interfering, especially with the presidential election. I think we might see some Chinese interference through uh, bots and through online activities uh, with regard to some of the congressional elections, especially if they uh, perceive some members of Congress as being too hawkish on China. Whether President Xi Jinping promised President Joe Biden in their last meeting in November that China would not meddle in U.S. elections is something National Security Council John Kirby declined to confirm. We've been clear uh, publicly and we've been clear privately uh, with interlocutors all around the world that we will do what we have to do to make sure that our elections are free and fair and they have been and they will continue to be. Potential for new irritants aside, after a turbulent period last year that included China flying balloons to spy on the U.S., the relationship has largely stabilized. There's been very active moves by the Biden administration, by the U.S. government, to try and find points of calm where China can engage. And on the point on the part of China, it does seem that there is a willingness which perhaps wasn't there even a year or two ago. Calm, the administration is keen to preserve with a war in the Middle East that could expand. Patsy Widakuswara, VOA News at the White House.